Hi guys, this is Amnash Sharma and in this session we will learn how to publish the Power BI report onto Power BI service. When we publish the report on the Power BI service, it means we are uploading the Power BI report on the cloud based system so that other users sitting remotely can access that report. Now, how to publish the reports? For that purpose, we need the two tools Power BI Desktop and the Power BI service. On Power BI Desktop, using that one, we can design the reports. And whenever the like design is complete, then we can publish that reports using the Power BI service. But the question is, why we need to publish the Power BI reports? The answer is, when we design the reports, so we do it individually. It means we are designing the reports on desktop and we want the other users sitting remotely should be able to access that report. So for that purpose, we need to publish the reports. And we push the reports on cloud-based system or we update the reports on the cloud-based system that is called the publishing the reports. Third reason, we want to check the look and feel of our Power BI reports on different devices like the desktop, tablet, mobile phone. So for that purpose also, we need to publish the report. Now, we check how to publish the reports. So as you can see, we have the Power BI desktop and we have a report. In this report, we have two, v two visual, pie chart and the column chart. And we have the sales data on these visuals. So this is the local reports on desktop. Now, we want the other users should be able to access this one. So we have to publish this report. So on home, we have a publish this one. And, name, uh, and the name of this report is the publish report. This publish. Now, if I click this one. So, we have a dialog box. In this dialog box, we have to select the workspace. So, by default, in Power BI service, my workspace is always there and another Lotus workspace. These are the custom spaces we created on this services. So I am selecting this one. Select now. So this is done now. Our report has been uploaded on cloud and we have a link on that one. So we click this link. Now we can see this report has been uploaded on the cloud. If we check the URL, we have the app.powerbi.com. This is our Power BI service. And workspace is the my workspace. Now, if we check the workspaces, so we have the list of the other workspaces by default, my workspaces, another and Lotus spaces. This is the workspaces we created and we create more workspaces using this create a workspace button. So if we check the another, then we do not find any content. This is the blank workspace. If we check say Lotus image, then there is no content. And if we check again, my workspace. Now we have the two reports. Sorry, we have the two content. One is the report and other is the data. We uploaded only the reports but data set is also uploaded automatically with the report on the cloud because reason is when you upload the report on the clouds so report cannot access the data from your local server or local machine. That's why the data set along with the report is also updated or, or we can say is also uploaded on the cloud. So that's why we have the two content, report and the data set. If you hover on the report, then we have the share and the favorites. And if we check the this report, then we have the refresh and other one. Schedule refresh. Suppose you want the data on the report should be refreshed, say daily, hourly, weekly, monthly, then 
you can check the configuration on this one. Now, workspace. First of all, what is the workspace? If we check this diagram, so workspaces, as you can see in the diagram, workspaces, it's a container. And in workspaces, we can create another or other workspaces by default. My workspace or it's a, can say, it's a personal is always there. But we can our own custom workspaces. And each and every workspace has its own dashboard, reports, workbook, data set and data flow. Now, we check the home. If we click on the home, then we can see the list of all the items what we created recently. So my workspace is always there. Then publish. This is the name of the report we just uploaded. And Lotus workspace, another workspace we created recently. Now, recent. Again, we can see the list of the items. Then finally, my workspace. In my workspace, we have two items, the publish and the, uh, again, the name of the database is the same as the name of the report. Now, this means this data, this report has been uploaded or updated on the cloud successfully, but it does not exist on the dashboard. If we check the workspace, we have the dashboard and reports, then workbook and the data set. In dashboard, if we click that dashboard, so we have a message, you have no data dashboard. Now on the reports, we have one report that is the publish and data set. We have one data set that is the publish. Now if we click this report, So, and we have some options, then file, export, share, chat in teams, get insights, subscribe and edit. This edit, it depends on the permission. If you give the permission, this button would be unable, otherwise it is disabled. Now, pin to a dashboard. Suppose I want to pin up this report on the dashboard. So click this option and now we have a dialog box pin to dashboard the first option existing dashboard in this workspace we do not have any kind of dashboard that's why this option is disabled so we have to create the new dashboard new dashboard say my dashboard now pin live go to dashboard now we can see now we check my workspace and uh, in dash dashboard dashboards we have the my dashboard now this reports but we have associated this report on the dashboard or we can say we have pin up the reports on the dashboard so this is how you can display the reports in a workspace then display on the dashboard. Now suppose if we share this URL of the dashboard to some other user then what happens? We copy this URL and we check another browser paste URL and key. Okay now you can see this URL require the credential for the Power BI service. It means when you share this URL to somebody else, then that then that person must have the credential for the Power BI services. After that, then he can check the dashboard. So guys, this was all about the how to publish the Power BI report on the Power BI service. Thanks for watching the video.